Hello everybody, this is Modern Retro Gamer, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII Revenant Wings. In case you're wondering why I'm on the pause menu in the middle of a Belias the Gygus fight, I decided off-screen that the best way to level up in order to defeat him would be to repeatedly do the fight to try to level up, because even losing, we gain experience. We know that from when we were facing the Banga back on the Galvana. Um, but I kind of think I'm winning. I've taken out all the enemies, the Lamias in front of Belias, the Jin by the first summon gate, every single piece of enemy. Um, I took them all out, except for the Lamias in front of him and those that were immediately surrounding him. I sent Kaitas in, Blizaga, to attack the Lamias. I aggroed them, brought them back, and murdered them. And now, uh, I tried to do the same with the bombs that were just in front of Belias. However, Kaitas Blizaga aggroed all of that group. So I brought everyone back quickly, used both of the dances, the Mystic and War dances of Pinello, uh, and then charged straight at Belias. Pretty much everyone is dead, except for Pinello, some Carbuncles, and Kukulans. I'm using those Kukulans and constantly spawning them, standing on top of the summon gate, in order to survive. And I think it's working. Let's see. Yep, it worked. With only Pinello surviving. Defeating Belias has enabled Vaughn to use the Pyroclasm Quickening. Pyroclasm deals massive damage to all foes in a given area. Quickenings. You can use Quickenings when the Mist Charge Gauge is full. New Quickenings become available as you defeat certain bosses. That's nice. And nobody leveled up. But we got the Arms Encyclopedia, Orosite, and Fire Magicite. Which is nice. Hopefully we'll be able to craft those new items soon enough. What's happening now? It's the Judge of Wings. Oh. We're ready to fight. Come, Bahamut, ancient lord and master. Purge this wretched world of its sorrow. What are you doing? Uh, probably not best to run straight at it. It's a thing. Uh... That can't be good. I see. The entire sky sea. And that was a Galvana. Oh, that does not look good. Chapter. F okay, so that was not how I intended this to go, but that's how it's happening. The Galvana is crash landed. Eep. That does not look good. Chapter 5. Stranded. Tswara. Isle of the Lost. <laughs> if you've got time to pace around in frustration, you've got time to lend a hand with the repairs. Sorry, Tamaj, it's just so frustrating. Here we are, hot on the judge's trail, and this happens. Don't complain, it could have been much worse. I'll complain if I want to, when we find that... judge. I run away! Vaughn, what do you think the Judge of Wings was doing back there? Summoning that Esper named Bahamut, wasn't she? But there was more. The summoning gate was already active. Now that you mention it, there was someone else there, wasn't there? I saw him too. Do you think he helped us escape? It couldn't have been Bagamnon. Maybe Rickon? 
I don't think it was him either. Well, it wasn't me. Hello, I'm talking over here. I can't believe that judge would destroy an entire island. What about all the Angel who lived there? I'm sorry, Lyud. Sorry? Sorry we couldn't stop her. Do not apologize. It was destined to happen. Destined? What do you mean, destined? How can you stand there and make excuses for what happened? Show some emotion for once! Vaughn, what do you think you're doing? Someone had to say something. Oh, wow. Tamaja's Log, Marooned, Day 1. We must struggle against the environment if we are to survive. Our first order of business is the procurement of foodstuffs. I am tasked also with the repairs of our ship and the recording of our plight. I mustn't let the others know that keeping these journals has become something of a pastime for me. That's why... You can now travel to Tamaja's camp. You can now travel to the Cuguero Green Deep. You can now travel to Z Zwaua Rainwood. So let's see what's in here. What can we... Oh, there's a shop. There's a shop. Everybody's lending a hand with the repairs, but I'm sure you'll manage. Still open for business. Let's see what you've got. I'm here to buy. You've just got in the ice brand. You've got a rune blade, a mystic sword, mystical sword adorned with ancient glyphs. Hmm. The staff of protection and the earth wand and the discharger and the red halberd. And the Gujitsugi, Traveler's Vestment, Druid's Robes, Sheer Duble, and Medallion of Earth, as well as the Ger Germinus Boots, Fairy Pouch, and Winged Gloves. Hmm. Well, I don't think we'll get any of these just yet. I think our current equipment should last us sufficient time. The Guguero Green Deep is our first port of call, uh, but we could go do this melee in the Zwaua Rainwood, so let's try that out first, get to know what the kind of stuff in the area is like. How strong are these guys? There's 23, 20, 18, 18, and it looks like it's best to send in team fire. We need fire, fire, fire. And who's the team? Who's the team? Everyone, so yeah. Okay, so who's the best five level rank one? Uh, I think Salamander. So then we can send in Belasa, and we can send in Wyvern. Like, I wish we could have Lamia, but Carbuncle's too important, so we need to keep Carbuncle in the team. We can also recruit another Esper, but I suspect it's probably best for us to just keep them. Keep our Espers as they are right now, and if we really need another rank 2, then forge the Pact. So there's not much immediately around us. There is a bunch of... we don't want to set those guys off. Oh, no, we do not. So we're going to walk over here. Um... We're gonna probably go around this way, get the summoning gate, and then head towards the Titan, because the Titan is way too strong for us to even think of fighting right now. Walk all the way over there. Everyone's kind of all in a pile. They're all just attacking now. Madness. Madness. 
complete and utter madness. Just keep attacking. Keep attacking and everything is gonna work out okay. No, don't worry everyone. We can, we can do this, you just have to believe in the magic. This magic is Walk up here. Don't set off these ones. Don't. Like, we can deal with most of the stuff here, just not these guys. Let's just go over to the food thing and attack these frost arctic wolves. I always say frost wolf. It's a frost worm, as far as I'm aware. Is it a frost worm? No, it's an ice drake. The frost worms are elsewhere. So let's just put his gambit to Faraga. Uh, oh, there's a ice drake up here. Go, go, go. And it's dead. Now we can mine this. We need to be careful, because around here, who knows what's going to be killing us. Uh, I mean, this is chapter 5 we're talking about. This is fairly high-level stuff, you know? Ooh, there's a lot of Aquariuses. Oh, we've got some Lapis Lazuli. Don't tell Martin. <laughs> Littlewood reference. <laughs> Let's attack this guy. Those Aquariuses are not going to do much damage. If anything, we can just kind of use Thundaga. And they're dead. What I expected to happen. Happened. Hmm. What a surprise. Take him out. Take him out, boys. Wah, 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 wah. Say hello to my little friend. Thundaga! Another fr ice drake? Oh no, we can just mine this material safely. He's not gonna bother us. He knows better than that. I'm surprised it's actually this easy to get all the way across this when they have a titan. They've tightened just like on the other edge of the map. And just... Eh, we can just get around it really easily. It's good. Oh, do Blossoms have... Oh no, that's just the Salamanders. Hm. Come on. Careful. Why is the Wyvern going this way? Why is one Wyvern just going this way? It makes no sense. <sighs> And they have to go around the bush. Why do they have to go around the bush? Walk through the bush. It's in this ingenious new thing. Okay, now everyone can just attack the arctic wolves and... Uh, we'll summon a carbuncle and we'll fortify everyone once. And fortify the salamanders again. Use jump. Go everyone, kill them, kill them all. Kill all of the wolf. Kill every wolf. Defeat them. Defeat them heavily. You shall be the victor. Okay, now there's not much else we can do, so let's head over and kill all the monsters. Yay! We still can't summon anymore, so let's just fortify Carbuncle. I know I was gonna fortify... I was gonna fortify the others. Oh well. Oh well. Um, I'm sorry, this is just... Re Fly over the gaps, Lyud! Lyud, you are a flying unit. You can fly. So do it! Seriously. Hmm. Very aggravating. No, 
pull everyone back to heal, because we need to make sure everyone's gonna stay alive, you know? This is a rather important thing. Okay, now we can head in. Uh, Kaito's use Thundaga. He's probably the most important thing to take out as fast as possible. Pyroclasm. Use Pyroclasm. Quickly, Vaughn. Please say Kablooey. Kablooey! And then he's dead. And that's how you do a quickening, kids. The more damage Vaughn deals, the faster his quickening comes up. And that's a lot of experience for a melee. Cool. Got some more Aurasite, we got some Lapis, Silvers, Storm. Okay guys, so next time we are going to be heading into the Guguero Green Deep in order to, um, well, in order to uh, continue the story. So this is Modern Retro Gamer signing off, and I'm going to see you guys next time. Oh.